Good YouTube, as you can see, we're a little bit comfortable today. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to rent versus owning out a box truck, a cargo van, or even a semi truck. I'm gonna break down the expenses between renting and owning all three of these vehicles, and I'm gonna let you guys know between the expenses and how much you're gonna be paying a week versus how much you're gonna be making a week if you can survive with hiring a driver so that you can make full time passive income. And let me just tell you right now if you own a semi you can make full-time passive income by hiring a driver and still make two thousand dollars a week so i'm gonna let you guys know the full breakdown of this video and let's get right into it man stay tuned for more after the intro Woo! But in this video, we're going over rent versus own trucking business expense layout. So I hope y'all are ready. I literally just been over here talking to myself this whole time about, you know, how to make money without even working. You know what I'm saying? In this trucking industry, because I know you could have it done, but if you're renting, you can't really make passive income with this trucking industry. It might be only 50 or $100 a week in a box truck if you are renting and you hired a driver. So, so let's, let's get, get right it. into it. Everything you need to know about the expenses, the fees, and all of that for all three vehicles, box truck, cargo van, and semi truck. So let's get it. So for up, up first, man, um, we got the renting benefits. So with the renting business, you can literally start a new business without putting this $10,000 to $15,000 down on a box truck or a semi truck, guys, or even a cargo van, because you need to put 10 to 15% down on these vehicles as a down payment to, you know, go ahead and purchase and lease it out throughout the month. You might be paying $800 to $1,100. So you can start with $2,500 and make $500 to $700 daily by renting. Now, this is box truck, these are box truck costs right here and um uh yeah that's box truck right there because most popular is renting out the box truck people don't really rent semis i will show you later in the video how much you're going to be paying while you're renting a semi and um yeah if you're renting a cargo van you're going to be paying you know a hundred dollars a day just for the rental and then rental and gas and then you're only going to be making you know four hundred dollars a day gross so you can uh, calculate that if that's good for you. If you are in the California area or the West Coast where they pay a little bit more, then you know you might be able to survive with making four hundred dollars per load, five hundred dollars per load, and you're paying out two hundred dollars in gas and rental fees. So um, yeah, that's just that. And also, guys, another benefit is three hundred dollars daily plus fuel. So um, you will be paying three hundred dollars for this truck, mostly box truck and plus fuel so probably two hundred dollars fuel so probably around five hundred dollars a day and if you get a load for seven hundred dollars in one day that means you're only gonna profit two hundred dollars which is still regular i mean not regular <laughs> tripping which is still better than a nine to five job because on this channel black investors group i'm gonna teach you how to get away from your nine to five job and be strictly an entrepreneur man so go ahead and subscribe make sure you subscribe but like i said man we stay uncomfortable um credit doesn't matter when you are in this renting business um they don't really check credit but if you want to buy a truck and your credit just doesn't allow you to buy a truck then you can take this rental route and also another big big benefit right here is if this thing will move no maintenance guys you can get no maintenance on your truck um so if something breaks down you can just return a truck and get a new truck. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's all I gotta say about the renting benefits. And then we got the owning benefits on the next slide. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube memberships if you guys didn't want to be a carrier if you don't want to drive all these long hours if you just want to be at home and work from home you can make a thousand dollars a day with my special dispatching class over on the youtube memberships man so y'all make sure y'all go check out the youtube memberships so if you own a truck you could be paying out a thousand to two thousand dollars per month but if you are renting you could be paying fifteen hundred dollars a week just to rent the truck so you can see how 15, 1500 my fault, will add up to around $6,000 at the end of the month. But if you own that, you can literally save 6000 of those dollars. So, hey man, it's a big margin versus renting and owning. There is no per mile fee, meaning that you don't have to pay anything, you know, except gas. You know what I mean? While you're over this road, there is no insurance fee. 
and the insurance fee that these rental companies charge is higher than a regular commercial insurance fee because they charge maybe 70 60 or 80 dollars but the average i've seen is 70 dollars a day and guys i'm trying to tell you 70 dollars a day adds up to like i think about 1500 dollars a month let me see alexa how much is 70 times 30. 70 times 30 is 2100 two thousand one hundred dollars per month versus paying you know if you own a truck on regular commercial insurance you'd be paying a thousand to even fifteen hundred on a high end so yeah man you can save six hundred dollars on insurance by not paying this and owning your truck then you have major profits guys only paying for truck and insurance and gas that's it that's all you're paying for there's no mileage fee there's no rental fee or none of that and so this will allow you to hire a driver you might be able to hire a driver because if you get a load each day for a thousand dollars okay maybe you might pay out three hundred dollars in gas and then another two hundred dollars for your driver so now guys you can make five hundred dollars a day passively five hundred a day passively that just sounds too good it just sounds too good but hey make sure you go ahead and like this video and the cons while renting is of course more expenses um broken things in truck so one time i was over the road and i do rent with rider or i did used to rent with rider because in florida this was the cheapest company at the time and one time i did have a truck with no radio and no ac but unfortunately it was not cold or hot it was pretty good weather so i didn't need ac but um they have mileage fees this could range from 17 cents per mile which is as low as i've seen and up to 20 cents per mile guys for just driving each mile so this could add up real fast this could be 1600 to even two thousand dollars per week when you are renting a truck and also if you don't have twenty five hundred dollars don't even think about calling a rental company because most of these companies right here do require you to put down a deposit and whatever you don't use on this deposit you can get it refunded back to you so if you say you want to rent the truck out for a week and they deposit you know twenty five hundred dollars off your credit card and it has to be a credit card then um and also it doesn't have to be a business credit card it me it can be a personal credit card i use my personal credit card when i was renting out from Ryder. but um if you have this 2500 then if you don't use all of the miles or days say you only use 500 dollars worth of what how many days you rented and how many miles you drove then they will refund you all of that back of course and then the cons of owning guys is the maintenance so you will have to make up with this maintenance now of course in a box truck semi cargo van you're gonna have to do maintenance every month maybe an oil change twice a month even three times a month maybe an oil change guys and something just might break down that's simple and small but these little expenses could still add up to be a big expense and if you're in a semi truck these expenses can be you know from five to even fifteen thousand dollars so now your profits are cut back a whole week because you're paying you know this money so literally if you are owning your truck and you pay this maintenance guys your truck is a lemon you have a lot of maintenance that needs to be done then um you probably will be still paying out the same amount of fees just getting that maintenance than you are renting so yeah it might be best for you to just rent if you have a bad truck but um another thing is breakdowns breakdowns are crucial crucial in this business because not only you break down boom it costs five thousand dollars to fix the repair but now your truck is going to be out for a week so instead of making five thousand dollars a week you just paid out five thousand dollars for that week and you've been out a week of work so now you're like negative ten thousand dollars if you don't understand that rewind it and you will understand what i'm talking about but also guys if you're owning it's going to be difficult to find a storage space um when you're not on the road so when you do want to be home when you do want to take a break um of course your truck is going to have to sit somewhere and nine times out of ten you don't have a big residential yard or your homeowner association won't let you park a big semi or a big box truck in your front yard man so um you're gonna have to pay probably two three hundred dollars a month 
to get some storage space so you can park your truck when you want to go ahead and be at home and don't forget to like this video man so on to the next slide we do have van profits we're going to break this thing down we're going to go to van then box truck then semi i'm going to show you if you're able to hire a driver or not but off the top i'm going to tell you right now you are not going to be able to hire a driver with a cargo van because even if you're owning you're only going to make 200 to 500 dollars on a regular day with paying out 75 to 100 dollars in gas so 75 dollars is you know more likely a full tank of gas one full tank of gas at an expensive gas station you know what i'm saying if gas prices are up 75 dollars will fill you up and this is you know probably 400 mile trip so on that 400 mile trip you probably only made 300 dollars for cargo man so now you just made 225 and now you can profit you know that 225 so that's how it is um it's just depending on how much miles your trip is and that gas expense but on a regular if you own you can make 200 to 500 dollars constantly each day if you rent you can go all the way down to 50 dollars a day to 200 dollars a day just because you have the gas fee you have rental fees cargo van guys there shouldn't necessarily be an insurance fee um so with the insurance fee my fault with the insurance fee um that's mostly box truck and semi but with cargo van they don't necessarily charge an insurance fee so find you a company that doesn't charge for insurance just a regular rental fee that might be like 20 dollars a day if you're doing u-haul trucks and i do have a video boom right here on how to start renting with u-haul and everything you need to get started with u-haul and you can start running u-haul cargo vans for twenty dollars a day man literally and then gas and mileage fee but there shouldn't be an insurance fee and um yeah like i said mileage fee and then you got the load board fee if your load board that you're using has a fee on top of it most of the times they don't but if you're using a weird load board they might just have a fee but let's get on to the next slide then we got box truck profits now we got box truck um don't forget to go ahead and check out the ebooks i spelled this wrong let's just say a box a box but you can go ahead and go on the website at lotofebooks.com and you guys can go ahead and get trucking ebooks, credit ebooks, how to build your credit fast, how to invest your money, how to trade crypto, and even, yeah, I think that's about it. But yeah, so renting the truck, guys, you guys can make $400 to $1,000 a day in the box truck. And I got an example for you guys. You can make $1,800 per load in just one day or two day trip. And then 600 might be for gas for this two-day trip. And then $500 is going to go out to the rental fee because you might be paying $250 a day to rent this truck. So you're paying $700 a day to rent the truck and pay for gas. But you just made $1,800. So you just made profit at $1,100 in one single day. And $1,800 is really um, on a good day. Um, it's not high, but it's not you know medium it's a little bit in the middle of high and medium so yeah and then if you're owning guys you could be making 500 to 1800 dollars a day now what i say 1800 dollars a day i mean that you could gross this so you can make 500 dollars a day on the low end say you have a load that pays 600 dollars to go like two three hours away from your destination or your starting location so now you could pay $200 in gas and boom, you made $500. And then on the high end, you can have a load for $2,000. might take you two or three days to do it. And you might be paying, you know, six, seven, 800 in gas. And you will still make this up, guys. Make this $1,800 a day. Box truck pays $1,700 plus for anything over 1200 plus miles if it's a full truck load so keep that in mind and then you have your gas fee and if you're owning you just have to worry about note your car note your insurance and that's it man the truck note the insurance and this should run you a thousand dollars a piece on average now now if you have a cheaper insurance quote or you put down more on your down payment you could be making i mean you could be spending a thousand dollars on the truck a month or a thousand dollars a month on insurance so that's why i put it at like two thousand dollars a month is the average on this guys with the note and insurance so you're just paying two thousand dollars and you can literally make this in four days so boom with box truck you can go ahead and hire a driver if you are owning because if you are owning 
you probably are paying your driver like 250 per day 250 per day is pretty good to pay your driver and if you made this low end you just made 250 per day and it's absolutely passive you can't beat passive income guys you just can't beat it but 250 dollars a day for doing absolutely nothing except finding your driver a place to go is a whole steal now if you want to make more money with hiring a driver i highly suggest semi and this is the whole reason i made this video is because semi trucks is where it's at and dump trucks guys dump trucks as well but semi trucks is where it's at like and subscribe don't forget to do that if you already haven't done so yet but you can make a thousand dollars a day and i'm gonna just leave it at a thousand dollars a day minimum and maximum because if you have a three-day trip that pays you know three or four thousand dollars it's a three-day trip so that's still you know a thousand dollars a day or twelve hundred dollars a day and then plus gas you know what i'm saying it takes out a little bit so you're gonna always be making 800 to a thousand dollars per day in a semi and in semi trucks you're never gonna have a problem finding work now if you already clicked off this video you're a dummy because you need to know this information you're going to be making a thousand dollars a day in a semi because there are major loads everywhere and there is so many loads being available to pick up with the semi truck it's always going to be loads in every city multiple loads in every city with a semi truck so your driver will never stay still will never stay empty but with cargo van your driver is more likely going to stay empty like literally so long and then box truck you might stay empty for a day or two out the week i say two days on a bad week but a day, probably every week, you're gonna be empty. And then boom, with semi, you're never gonna be empty. You're always gonna be here and there. So um, yeah, with truck and truck insurance, you can be paying anywhere from two to $4,000 a month with just one truck. And then you can hire a driver. You can pay them $1,000 a week, which is still good for an average nine to fiver that just wants to make some money, that has no family, that just needs to make money, they wanna go travel. You can make $1,000 um you can pay him a thousand dollars and then uh guys 2k in gas per week you got 1k in truck and truck insurance and 1k with your driver this is four thousand dollars a weekly fee and you get profit 25 on a bad week and five thousand dollars on a good week guys this can take two trips two day trips make three thousand dollars each 9k gross so if you have two day trips guys it's six days in a week well seven days in a week but these brokers are closed on sunday and sometimes saturday but you're driving for six days guys so divide that now you have three trips that you're making each trip can pay two thousand to three thousand dollars and let's just say they're three thousand each because that's regular sometimes it can be more than three thousand for a two-day trip three thousand each and you've taken three trips guys you can make nine thousand dollars a week gross and by the time all your expenses are done with you can make three thousand dollars a week profit so that is how you do it man that is how you make money in this industry get you a semi buy you a semi or buy a box truck not a box truck dump truck don't sleep on the dump trucks guys i do have a video boom right here on how to start making money with a dump truck even if you are renting or not renting but a company driver or a regular owner operator you can make a hundred dollars an hour as an owner operator in a dump truck so just imagine you divide that you um pay your driver thirty dollars you're making seventy dollars an hour completely passively by owning a dump truck and in a semi truck guys you make a thousand dollars a day you probably pay your driver you know two hundred dollars a day and boom two hundred in gas or four hundred in gas you're making four to six hundred dollars a day completely profit i hope you guys like this video and my name is king lot if you have any questions feel free to hit the calendly backslash king lot link in the description reach out to me one-on-one -on -one phone call i hope you guys enjoy make sure you know what you want to do semi box truck cargo van or dump truck you already know from the information i told you in this video cargo van is not the way but I hope you guys learned some valuable information. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. But that's all I can say, man. I think that's it. So we out. Woo!